was the one thing you didn't see coming in. No one would blame you, though. If you cried in private, if you tried to hide it away, so no, no one knows. No one will see if you stop believing.
sometimes winning doesn't look like winning. Sometimes a win looks an awful lot like loss, looks an awful lot like death. How many times have you been knocked down? Tempted to doubt when things don't go the way we think they should. You could imagine the disciples' confusion. When Jesus, their king, their champion, he, he was nailed to a cross and died. He seemingly lost and they didn't know what to do. What you and I often miss and, and what the disciples didn't see was, was that this was all a part of the plan. Jesus said, no one takes my life, I lay it down. What looked like the greatest loss in history was in fact a, a paradigm shifting victory. Jesus rose from the grave and death couldn't touch him. Sin had lost its power and he was crowned the champion of all champions, undefeated. The same power that raised Christ from the dead lives in us, which means his victory over sin is your victory over sin. Your victory over addiction and shame. That thing that you thought was dead in your life, he stands ready to breathe new life. His win is now your win. And this victory reverberates through the centuries, declaring forevermore that he is our champion and he is alive. So, I hear you have a plan to save the world? Yes, Peter, I do. And this plan comes from the very top. Your father? My heavenly father. Well, this ought to be a pretty good plan. It's actually the perfect plan. Okay, great. So, how many swords are we gonna need? Whoa, careful, you're gonna cut someone's ear off with that thing. Yikes, wouldn't wanna do that. Why do you have that anyway? Well, we're gonna need swords to overthrow the Roman Empire, right? Oh, actually, no. No swords. Okay, spears then? Nope. Arrows? None at all. What about shurikens? What are those? I have no idea. No, you see, the great thing about this plan is that we don't need any weapons of any kind. No weapons of any kind? Of any kind. Huh. Oh, I get it. So you're gonna, like, call down an army of angels then? Well, I could do that. You should do that. I could call more than 12 legions of angels. That's 72,000 angels. Yeah, that's quite a lot of angels. That would be awesome. But I'm not gonna do that. You're not? It's not part of the plan. Is this a political campaign? Oh, absolutely not. An assassination? Definitely not. A protest march? Nope, nope, and nope. Okay, so what is the plan? Well, I'm going to lay down my life. Come again? I'm going to give my life as a sacrifice. You're going to die. That's the plan. Like? When you're old? Mm, sooner than that. Peacefully? In your sleep? No. No, it's gonna be painful. Okay, so how is dying gonna help save the Hebrews from Rome? Oh, this isn't just for Israel. It's for everyone. Everyone? Everyone, everywhere. Well, that doesn't seem fair. It's not. It's grace. So... You're just gonna leave us? You're just gonna abandon your people? Oh, no. No, Peter. 
I'm going to rise again. You are? Yeah. To prove that death is defeated. After how long? Three days tops. You promise? I promise. Okay. Oh. Hey, Judas. Wait a minute. What are all these soldiers doing here? Don't worry. It's part of the plan. Savior say thy strength indeed is small child of weakness watch and pray find in me thine all in all Jesus paid it all all to him I owe sin Left a crimson stain, he washed it white as snow. Stand 
in him complete Jesus died my soul to save my lips shall still repeat Jesus paid it all all to him I owe sin had left a crimson stain he washed it white as snow sin had left a crimson stain he washed it white as snow